ArtSource database by EBSCO is a great place to locate information on interior design, architecture, graphic design, and art. To get started locating articles, let's go ahead and add some keywords to the search box. Start with sculpture techniques. And to get a little bit more specific, I'll add the terms and bronze. So here are the results and I found 68 articles and that's a pretty good start. If you want to narrow the search down even more, there are multiple ways to do that. In the limit to section, you can limit by scholarly peer reviewed journals. Also, if you're looking for information that was published during a certain date range, you can change the years and the publication date. Source type will allow you to narrow down by things like magazines or academic journals. Magazines are a great place to start research. They're typically easy to read. And in this database, you'll see the periodical icon next to magazine articles. Now, if you need something a little bit more scholarly, academic journals is a better route to go to. So let's go ahead and click on the title of one of these academic journals. So here we'll find the different full text options. This particular article has HTML and PDF full text. When given a choice, PDF is typically the better route to go because it'll have the original images, graphs, color photos, and also page numbers to help you when you do your in-text citation. There's other information about the article here, including the title, the author or authors, and the source, which can include the magazine or journal the article is published in. This is also where you'll find the date, volume issue number, and page numbers. If available, take a look at the abstract for the article. This is a summary of the article and can let you know if this article will meet your information needs or not. If it doesn't, you know it's time to move on. Now if it is something you'd like, up in the tools section, you'll find things like email, save, site, and more. If you click on the site button, You'll find example citations including APA, Chicago, and MLA. Now I say example because these are computer generated, so sometimes things like the capitalization will be a little bit off of the accepted citation style. So just make sure to compare them to an official style guide. Finally, there's the email option, and this is a great thing to do because you can send yourself the article so you don't have to worry about tracking it down. You can add any email address you'd like. If you want to get a little bit more specific, you can add the subject and comments for your email. But before you hit send, make sure to go to the citation format, select your citation style, and send yourself an email. So now you'll have the article and the example citation. If you don't see it in your email, make sure to check your junk and spam folders. This concludes the video tutorial for ArtSource.